everyone, it's Mrs. Bodden here. I hope you guys are ready to draw again with me today. So grab your pencils, grab your crayons, grab your markers, grab whatever you want to draw with today and your piece of paper. Today we're going to be drawing from this book called Drawing Shape by Shape and we're going to draw a silly snail. So today I'm going to be using a couple different colors. I'm going to start with my brown marker for today. Hopefully it still works after my kids were playing on my whiteboard at home. They think it's pretty fun that mom right, has a whiteboard and they can be drawing and coloring all over it. So hopefully all my markers work today. We'll check. So silly snail. For starters, we're going to start by drawing a large triangle. You want your triangle to be equal on all sides or close to as equal as possible with your point at the top. So we're going to start by drawing the two sides down one side, down the other, and then connecting your bottom. Now, does it have to be perfect? No, it always just has to be the best you can do. So that's going to be our snails shell. Now I'm going to switch markers. I'm going to switch to my green and we're going to go ahead and draw the actual snail. So I'm going to draw my head over on this side. It's going to come out and it's going to be kind of this shape, kind of a P shape. And I'm going to go ahead and switch real quick to black so I can get his eyeballs on there. Let's go ahead and move the whiteboard a little bit so you can see him. So I'm going to make my eyeballs two circles and then give him two little ones right in there, eyeballs right in there. Now, do I need those green lines going through his eyes anymore? Yes, let's go ahead and erase them. So, erase those parts. And I'm gonna go ahead and give him a little bit of a mouth. And I'm gonna give him two antennas. So, one antenna coming this way, the other one, I'm just gonna make it kinda go straight up and over a little bit the other way. There he is. And let's make his mouth just a little bit bigger. There we go. Now let's go ahead and finish off the rest of his body. So I got my green marker back. So I have this side done. We're going to give this side a little bit of a curve. And then I want you to give me about five bumps through this bottom part. So one, two, three, four, five. Those are kind of like his legs kind of a slime trail that he'll be making. Now, I'm going to take my black again, and I'm going to draw my spiral through my snail shell. Oh, that's a bad start. Let's erase that and try that one again. So, give me that spiral. And then, you can add color. So, you can color your snail in nice and green color in his slime trail, color in his face a little, give him some color. Hopefully your colors look a little bit better than mine do. Color his shell. And then figure out where your snail's gonna go. Where is he traveling to? He's got his house on his back, so where's he gonna go? So, as always, thank you for joining me, and I will see you guys later.